What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Back again with TTM episode number 52. And today I have nine returns. Five small envelopes, which I'm hoping have autographed trading cards. One bag, which has a baseball inside. And three large envelopes, which I'm hoping have autographed 8x10 photos. Let's see what we have. Starting things out with large envelope number one. Oh, awesome. Roy Hibbert with the smothered chicken. This is one of the most iconic blocks in Pacers history. I remember exactly where I was. This photo came out beautifully too. You can see Hibbert 55 down there. I love this Pacers team with Hibbert, West, Paul George, George Hill, Lance Stevenson. They were a lot of fun. You just couldn't quite beat the Heat. My boy Bosco's a Knicks fan, so I'm sure he's not loving this right now, but uh, this is one of the best moments in Pacers history. Nice. Big thanks, Mr. Hibbert. And moving on to large envelope number two. This has a card in it as well. Oh, oh nice. No, that's a heat return. Mike Miller. Speaking of the heat. Nice photo. Beautiful sig there as well. Mike Miller was a Pacers killer. Let's see if he signed the card as well. And he did. There he is with the Grizzlies on this upper deck. He <laughs> kind of covered his eyes there, but that's all right. Awesome. Big thanks to Mike Miller. And final large envelope. Here's a card in here as well. Dana Brooke. Awesome. There you can see she is flexing. Let's see if she signed the card. She did. Awesome. What a big hit from Dana Brooke. I actually just saw on social media that her and her tag team partner, Mandy Rose, are going to be at WrestleMania this weekend for a chance at a title match on Sunday. If you're watching WrestleMania this weekend, leave a comment below on which match you're most looking forward to. I'm a big Bianca Belair fan, so I'm hoping she wins a championship. Awesome. Thanks, Dana. All right, we'll move on to the bag with the baseball inside. We have... Okay, it looks like it's the commissioner ball I've been sending out. Let's see, Manfred, Selig, Uberoth, and there he is, Faye Vincent. <laughs> Not Hall of Fame. <laughs> not really sure why he put that. I think he might be a little bit bitter about Bud. I'm not really sure why he does that. Any theories on why he puts not Hall of Fame on here are welcome in the comment section below. But at least he signed the Commissioner Ball, as mentioned, already signed by Selig, Manfred, and Uberoth. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Vincent. Small envelope number one coming out of Santa Clarita, California. This one's a little thick. Hopefully that's not bad news. It is signed by Justine Siegel. So kind of strange, she included the envelope that I sent this in there, so that's a little bit strange, but uh, Justine Siegel did sign this, Alan Ed Ginter from 2020. Really impressive feat. She became the first female coach to be employed by a major league baseball team in 2015. Awesome, thank you, Justine. Small envelope number two is coming out of Spokane, Washington. It's Craig Elo on the Skybox. Nice. Looks like the C got a little smeared on the protector, but yeah, that's not a big deal at all. Got these Skybox cards look beautiful with ink. Thank you, Mr. Elo. Small envelope number three is coming out of Lexington, Kentucky. It's 
It's another Skybox hit. It's Kenny Walker. Beautiful Kenny Skywalker. That is a great card. Pure 90s. Like I said, these Skybox cards look beautiful with ink. And kind of fitting, he's actually signing a ball on the back of the card. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Envelope number four. I'm really excited about this one because I think it's back from a private signing. CR, quick, get in your guesses. It's Mr. Cal Rifkin Jr. Beautiful signature there on the Allen and Ginter. My favorite player of all time, Mr. Cal Ripken Jr. And the biggest hit yet to my Studio 91 collection. There he is. The Iron Man. His consecutive game streak will likely never be broken at this point. I think the current record is Whit Merrifield, and he's only got like 300 or something like that. I'll put the actual number right here. So he has quite a bit of ways to go if he wants to catch Cal. I honestly don't think that will ever be broken. Lou Gehrig had the record for like 50-something years, so not likely that one's ever going to be touched. I found this signing on sportscollectors.net, hosted by Tom Orr. Really happy to have these cards in my sets. And finally, coming out of Cincinnati, Ohio. There's a note. It's signed by Mr. Derek Gould. Let me see any Allen and Ginter. Big day for Allen and Ginters. It's a really nice autograph. Really cool note from Derek Gould. David, thanks for the request. It is my pleasure to sign these cards. Hard to imagine they exist. Your letter found me in Cincinnati for opening day by way of Florida. It went on quite a journey for my scribble. <laughs> Hope you're healthy. Best, Derek. Awesome. Really cool note. And that'll do it for a loaded episode number 52. I appreciate all of you watching. And as always, I welcome thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss future TTM videos. I hope you all have a great start to your weekend. Stay safe out there. Cheers. <laughs>